Hi guys, welcome to my Pony Club Camp morning routine. This is the bathroom from Pony Camp. Um, and this is Alba, who was, well, who is one of my best friends, but um, we hang out a lot at Pony Camp. But uh, we were heading down together. It's a very early start at Pony Camp. We had to get up at 7, I think it was, each morning to go and feed the horses, which was very tiring. And um, yeah, we, were, we weren't very good at getting up at that time, but... This was the stables where all the horses were kept, so they all stayed together and they they were pretty well behaved all week, you know. Clyde did escape his stable like four times, but apart from that, the rest of them were quite good. So there he is there. He's very excited because he always gets fed in the morning, so he knew what I was there for. He was very happy to see me. Um, But yeah, so Pony Camp was basically, it was four or five days long. It was about a month ago actually I filmed this now, which is why I'm very stuttery with what I was actually doing in this because I can hardly remember it. But um, we we did have to get up really early every morning and the horses were all to be fed at the same time so that they didn't argue, which is why. Clyde was really good with his stable though. He was very, very low maintenance because lots of other people had a lot of poos to muck out, whereas I literally had about two or three to do each morning. And Clyde did them all in like a pile in the corner of the stable because obviously Clyde just knows that's exactly how I like it. So he has to do that for me, obviously. <laughs> but anyway, this was me taking this feed bucket. Um, so the night before, lots of the horses got feeds morning and night, but Clyde didn't. But obviously I didn't want him to be upset. So at night I would just put a like a singular carrot into his feed bucket and that seemed to keep him happy for some reason. So yeah. This was where I had the feeds. I had them all in this white bag here um, and that was just to keep it all from spilling everywhere. Um, and they were all in little bags which my mum and my grand made up which was really helpful because it meant I didn't have to make up his feed each morning. I could literally just pour it all in. As you can see I look like a bit of a wreck. We were sleeping in my trailer every night and it's it was really really cold and also there was like no shower so the only night we got a shower was when we were at the swimming pool. Um, so by this point, I think I filmed this about two days after my last shower. So I was like really ratty looking. Um, and also I didn't bring enough clothes because I thought it was gonna, be, it said it was to be really sunny and warm all week and it ended up raining and being cold for like almost the entire camp. Which it was fine, but I didn't bring enough layers because I thought I was gonna be much warmer. Um, so it was it was quite a pain but anyway there's Alba walking behind me <laughs> um, so I think I wore those joggers to sleep and to sort the horses in the morning almost every day so they were probably absolutely stinking by the end of it um, but that's me made Clyde's feed there he just gets chaff and pony nuts and carrots and feed balancer and stuff and obviously then I go and fill it up with some water Sorry the filming isn't really great from this video. I was trying to film subtly because I still feel awkward when I film in front of everybody. So I, I actually used my GoPro for this video. This tap was a nightmare honestly. Like I know I, it looked fine in that but it, on, every time I tried to turn it on it would like have a huge amount of water come out of it and one morning I turned it the wrong way by accident and got absolutely drenched. Anyway this is the highlight of Clyde's day, um, getting his feet. So yeah, as I said, he used to get to stable twice, maybe three times in the uh, entirety of the camp. But um, there was like a little gap in his stable wall, which was like in the barrier thing, which is what, sorry, I'm yawning, <laughs> which is what was the, that was the reason he escaped and when he was looking for jazz as well. See, look, you can see the amount of water coming out that now. This was me just getting him some fresh water so that he was comfy. That's all the calves that were behind Clyde's stable. I think he was a bit scared of them at first, but they, they were quite cute. So this was me just mucking out Clyde's stable. It it it's quite a boring video, so I'll just time lapse this bit, but yeah, um I did muck out his stable morning and night, but I tried to do it during the day as well, so I didn't have as much to do. But Clyde I I, I was very lucky with Clyde, like he's very low maintenance for mucking out.
Then once I had finished mucking out, it was time to give Clyde a hay now. I was really lucky at camp because Clyde needs his hay steamed. So my mum and my gran just brought up new hay nets every night. So I never had to make any hay nets, which saved me a lot of time. Whereas everybody else had to make up fresh hay nets every night. I literally just had to tie them up. Clyde took a while to get used to being in the stable because for the first few nights he didn't really eat um like enough like he was just more sleeping or standing there because it was a new environment obviously but um after like the first night or so he started eating properly and he was fine luckily but yeah Clyde seemed to enjoy pony camp actually he was really energetic all the time so I just took his rug off during the day I kept it on at night because it was a bit cold at night there's Alba in a sulk because uh her pony Kuna or her horse Kuna was very high maintenance and did a lot of poos and buried them right under the straw so I stood every morning and laughed at her and did not help in any way shape or form but then once we were done down at the stables we went back up and got some breakfast I had toast with butter almost every morning because that's the kind of stuff I like I have no idea where I'm in this oh that's me in the trailer that was the light I had in my trailer for the entire week it literally did nothing it was so bad. It was like a little dot in the corner. It gave me no light at all. It was it was quite crammed in the trailer, especially in the sleeping bit. But anyway, then I got dressed and went back down to see Clyde again. And this was me giving him a good brush. Me and Clyde ended up winning best turned out for the week, probably because of her, her immaculate, uh, you know, my immaculate grooming skills. And then this was me just getting myself ready to ride because... We did a lesson in the morning, oh, there's Alba, <laughs> we did a lesson in the morning and a lesson in the afternoon each day and then uh, we obviously just give the ponies a break at night but it was quite like full on, like we did a lot of riding but Clyde really enjoyed it and somehow he didn't get that tired out from it which was good. So this is just me getting Clyde tacked up. I must have been, I think I was doing show jumping this morning. Um, because I basically, I originally planned to wear my Citroen matchy set for the cross country, but my group ended up doing the cross country on our first lesson, which was quite scary because I was not expecting it at all, so I was like, oh my gosh, when I found out we were doing cross country for our first ride, but Clyde actually really enjoyed it, he was a bit stupid at first, he was like bucking and um, trying to gallop away around the field and jogging up the hill, but once he was settled he was really really good and You've probably seen in one of my other videos in the actual camp vlog that we jumped like the biggest hedge, which I really didn't expect, but it was really good. And he was a really good boy and he did, he definitely lost weight. So it was kind of a bit like a fat camp for Clyde because he lost quite a decent amount of weight, which was good as well. But uh, yeah, this was just me getting him ready to go. He seemed to enjoy it we had a nice grip as well and he liked he loved ted especially which is erin's horse you probably saw her in the rear back challenge um he absolutely loves her pony once Clyde's saddle was all on i got his bridle ready to put on i obviously took my hat off again here and it was basically because i was trying not to get really bad hat hair because obviously as i said there wasn't like showers so i didn't want my hair to be disgusting i still had blonde hair at this point um, and then, and here's Clyde at the end of the day, all happy and sleeping, but I hope you enjoyed my morning routine, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, bye!